What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. It's your boy Matwire and today I will be painting the brake calipers on my BMW 340i. Before we get started on anything, I want to give a shout out to my brother Malik. He actually made me another shirt. Let me know if you guys want any. Um, maybe I'll end up launching some merch here soon. But with that being said, let's go ahead and head into the garage and see what we'll be needing for today's video. All right guys, so as you can see, um, I went ahead and picked up some high heat primer. So obviously with all of these, you wanna make sure they're high heat just because the brake calipers get very hot and you wanna make sure that the paint that you're using can withstand that heat. I got some high heat spray paint. So if you guys haven't already guessed, yes, it looks like I will be painting my calipers white today. I think it's going to look super good considering the car is white and the wheels are bronze. And I think um, the caliper painted like a bright white would look really good and complement the wheels. And lastly, we also have some high heat gloss clear coat so once i'm done painting the calipers i'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the gloss clear coat to make sure it's nice and shiny i also have some painter's tape you'll probably need this as, as well as some plastic to kind of go ahead and block off the areas that you don't want to paint as you can see now the caliper currently is just kind of like a silver gray type color and i just think that if it's white to match the car um it'll look a whole lot better um and it'll really pop with the bronze wheels so that is the reason why i decided to go white if you guys want more in-depth video on how to paint your brake calipers i actually already made one i'll go ahead and leave the link up here but um go ahead and check that out but for this one i'll still go through the steps but i just won't be as in-depth all right guys, so as you can see, went ahead and jacked up the car, put it on jack stands. So the wheel's off the ground. What I'm gonna do now is take off the wheel. All right, so the wheel's off. And as you can see, you just wanna make sure that everything is nice and clean before you apply any paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and clean this up real well with um, just some soapy water I have here, along with a rag and uh, some wire brushes. It wouldn't be a bad idea to use some acetone as well just to make sure that this is really clean and you're not leaving behind like any oils or anything like that so once i finish up cleaning with the rag i'll hit it with some acetone and then uh, we'll move on to the next step all right so the caliper is all clean i already went ahead and hit it with uh, the acetone as well so what i'm going to be doing now is just putting plastic around the real well area just to make sure that when i am painting I don't paint anything besides the caliper um, and I don't get paint on anything else that I don't want to get paint on. All right, so when you're done, it should look something like this. What I did is just ripped a hole in this plastic and then kind of fed it around the caliper. So you guys can see that right there, just to make sure that it's real tight up against the caliper. So once again, I'm not getting paint anywhere else um, besides the caliper. I do recommend doing this in your garage if you have one, uh, just cause you don't want this plastic blowing around in the wind. I've had uh, experience in my past video um, and likes to move around. So once you have the plastic on there, there are a few areas on the calipers that you're gonna wanna tape off. So you're gonna wanna tape this little area right here, as well as this area back here. You don't wanna get any uh, paint on these areas. So let me go ahead and tape off those areas and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. So it should look a little something like this, as mentioned before. So now that everything's taped up and then step back, as you can see, my car is covered pretty well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and begin painting. So normally I would use primer on the caliper. I did in my last video, um, but with this paint in particular, I read the back and it says uh, that it doesn't recommend using primer with this paint. So maybe this paint already has primer in it. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm just gonna play it safe and just paint it without the primer. So I'll go ahead and start with the white and then we'll go on and move on to the gloss. All right, so the first coat is done. Um, Got a little bit of a run right there, if you guys can see, but shouldn't be a big deal after next couple of coats. Um, it should thicken up and I should be able to spray over that so you wouldn't be able to see it. 
But first coat's done, looking pretty good. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and let that dry. And while I'm letting it dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other side, on the other wheel. So that way I'm not wasting any time. I'll go ahead and do that off camera though. So I will see you guys in a second once this is dry. So the caliper looks pretty dry. Uh, it's dry to touch, as you can see. So I will go ahead and start on the second coat. I think it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, to pass the time, I'll probably end up like cleaning these wheels real well, just cause obviously when the wheel's off, it's a lot easier to clean. So all up in here, it's like super, super dirty. So find something to do while you're waiting for your uh, calipers to dry. All right, so I already went ahead and did the third coat off camera. Everything looks pretty dry. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the gloss clear coat. I probably only do one, maybe two coats of the clear coat. So I just want you guys to see what it looks like now. It's very uh, dull, kind of has like a matte finish. And then I'll show you guys uh, what it's looking like after I spray the clear coat on it. All right, so this is after one coat of the clear coat. As you can see, I mean, it's not completely dry yet, but as you can see, it is a lot more shiny than just the white paint was. I do think I'm going to do one more coat of the clear coat and then uh, I'll call it a day and we'll take everything off. So it looks like the second coat of the clear coat is dry. So I'm going to take off the tape and then take off all the plastic around the wheel well, put the wheel back on and then show you guys what it looks like. So I actually wanted to show you guys something before I put the wheel back on. So just to reiterate, you want to really make sure that the bag isn't touching any part of the caliper while drying because as yeah, you can see right there, I took off the bag and it kind of messed up the paint a little bit. So I have to redo that area. But overall, I think it looks really good. Like I said, after I took off the tape on both of these parts, um, the white looks super clean. And I'm actually really excited to go ahead and get my wheel on there. So this is what it's looking like. I really, really like it. Like I said, the bronze wheel is dark and to have that really bright white caliper right behind it looks really good in my opinion. Uh, I am anxious to see what it looks like when it's on the ground, but as far as the caliper, uh, I'm very happy with how it turned out. So I did finish both of the front wheels and they both look really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the back wheels. I am gonna do these ones off camera just for the simple fact that the calipers are the small calipers. They're not the big calipers that were up front. They're the small ones, just like the ones that were on my 428i. But for this video to save time, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it off camera and then just show you guys at the end what it looks like. So I wanted to give you guys a really good look of what the calipers look like outside of my garage. So uh, here's a little cinematic, check it out. As you guys just saw, I think they look absolutely fuego. They look so good. The white really complements the bronze wheels. I couldn't be happier. It makes the car look a lot more sporty with the painted caliper instead of it just being silver. As far as the rear brakes, I know they are the smaller brakes. They're not like the big brake up front. So later on, do I plan on doing a big brake swap? Maybe, you know, I, I want those big brakes on the back as well. But for right now, this is perfect. I do plan on getting a sticker for my front calipers. I don't know what I'm gonna put on there yet. I know they make a whole bunch of custom stickers you can get. I don't know if I'm gonna go just the regular M sticker on there, um, but I'm definitely gonna put something on there just to spice it up a bit. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the calipers. Once again, I'm super happy with how it turned out. So 
Let me know if you guys like the white. Should I have gone a different color? What do you guys think? But just like that, that wraps up today's video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. Those of you that do follow me on Instagram, you know that I post all my content in there first before YouTube. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or if it helped you out in any way. And just like that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.